Below this time, I will make a simple example of changing the color of a cube using the slider of the widget. First, create a material to set the color to the cube. Hold down keyboard 3 and click the left mouse button to create a constant 3 vector node. Change it to a parameter to receive the color value from the slider in real time and connect it to the base color. Next, create a widget blueprint from the user interface item. Drag and drop the canvas panel onto the hierarchy to frame the overall user interface. Next, select the horizontal box and create it inside the canvas panel. And expand it to an appropriate size from the bottom of the center as shown in the video. Next, create text and slider inside the horizontal box. After changing the text, the slider fills the box by selecting the size as fill, and then sets the padding to about 10 to widen the distance between them. Now create a blueprint. Create a cube component. Next, load the cube component from the construction script and set it as a dynamic material using the Create Dynamic Material instance node to change the color while playing. The source material is set to the material we created at the beginning and we create it as a variable to use the dynamic material elsewhere. Next, create a Git Player Controller node to receive input from the player. Next, through the Enable Input node, receive keyboard input. and the Create Widget node to load the previously created widget. Make the widget reference as a variable so that it can be called up later when needed. Next, create a widget on the screen using the Add to Viewport node. And using the Set Visibility node, hide the widget by setting it to hidden so that it cannot be seen when it is first executed. Next, drag the widget variable and load the slider from the widget. Then use the getValue node to get the value of the slider. Next, create an HSV to RGB node that converts the color model to RGB color values. The who value of the color model is expressed at an angle of 0 to 360 degrees based on the circular model. So use the map range clamped node to change the slider's 0 tilde 1 to 0 tilde 359 and set the remaining values to 1. Next, load the dynamic material variable and then use the set vector parameter value node to load the material's color parameter. Next, connect the nodes as shown in the video so that the slide can change the cube color. Next, create a keyboard event node and set it to the desired key. And create a flip-flop node to run the two flows alternately. Copy the two set visibility nodes we used earlier and connect them to the flip-flop node. And set the set visibility node to visible for A and hidden for B. Create a get player controller node once more and create a set input mode game and UI node so that character movement and UI can be performed simultaneously during play. Finally, create two set show mouse cursor nodes and connect the nodes as shown in the video to set the cursor to appear when the widget is shown and to be invisible when the widget disappears. Save and return to the content drawer. Now place the blueprint on the level and run it. And if you press the designated key, you can see the widget slider. And if you move the slider, you can see the cube's color change in real time.